it's not enough for a leader to have vision and drive and energy and conviction. Michael had all of those qualities, and you have all of those qualities. But if you want your dream to come true, to come to fruition, you must learn to develop the leaders around you. And I think Mike knew that at some gut level, because I think his greatest gift to Cal ASAP was recruiting many of you. I kind of backed into the chapter. The person who really had a lot to do with that um, was my trainer. Um, at the time, I was a, a medical director at Saddleback, a young, a young uh, red hot who thought I knew everything. Um, and uh, this uh, force of nature uh, named Mike Trainer came to work uh, at Saddleback. He was one of those uh, pure products of the first generation of emergency medicine. He was mostly self-taught but he was uh, a board examiner, and he was a guy who was full of passion and full of energy and, and uh, uh, who he just couldn't say no to. So I'm pretty sure at the time Mike was chapter president, and uh, he just couldn't understand why I wasn't more involved in Cal ASAP. He was totally committed to Cal ASAP, and he was going to run for the board again. This was his home, this was his family, and whatever he could do for Cal ASAP, for the camaraderie, for the other doctors, that was his commitment, uh, his joy and his passion, and he was passionate. <laughs> A quote from Emergency Medicine in November of 1990 said, Activists credit Michael Trainer, MD, with getting the initiative on the ballot. The president of Cal ASAP, Dr. Trainer, is an animated and forceful person when he speaks about alcohol tax and damages caused by alcohol. Most of you will remember that he was probably pretty animated and forceful any time he spoke. I certainly remember the, the times working with Randlin and others that um, we worked on this particular legislation and of course we had a secret weapon because Mike and Barbara lived next door to the governor. Uh, Mike was able to go next door and knock on the door and talk to the governor at his own kitchen table and explain to him why he needed to sign this bill. So we founded, when Mike died, we founded the Trainer Lectureship in Emergency Medicine and Public Policy because he finally grew up to realize that you had to play in the political arena to influence the type of care that you would be able to give to your patients.